it's Melissa. Let's try this again. Today I'm going to show you a quick trick on how to quickly and easily place decals on if you have a shirt or a onesie or whatever. This is obviously a onesie. So what I like to do as opposed to trying to like, you know, figure out exactly where the center is, all you have to do, and this is like a kill two birds with one stone type of thing. Okay, so you are going to fold your shirt in half okay line up the shoulder seams all right and then line up the rest of the shirt if you have you know so you want it to be even okay then you are going to place it in your heat press can you see this no there place it in your heat press and do a quick press like 10 seconds or something okay oh by the way this is my new armoire for my heat press it hides it so nobody sees it when they come up the steps because Bob and I work in like this loft area anyway okay so now you have ta -da, a nice center line right down the middle okay all right so now what you're going to do is I like to use a uh, pressing pillow especially for um, onesies because you've got like this double or triple thick um, shoulder seams here at the shoulder okay so you're going to place your pressing pillow down and then put your um, onesie so that it kind of folds over do you see you want everything to be hanging off this is especially important if you have a larger press like this where you can't actually have it hang off the side okay so you've got your line down the center from your fold and then you're going to take your design and you're going to fold your design exactly in half as well all right okay do you see where I'm going with this okay so now I have a center line for my design and a center line for my shirt and I'm gonna line them up ta-da it's gonna be in the middle and by the way I want to talk about this look how small this is don't ever let anybody tell you that it's too small to cut do you see this it's my camera's not clear okay so let's do this real quick I'm gonna place it on there for onesies I do like two inches down for men's and women's shirts I'd say about three inches down I have a whole tutorial on how where to place how to place and I will share that with you in a minute okay Teflon sheet all right then you're gonna do 20 seconds on 305 this is easy weed okay when it's done I'm gonna flip the whole thing inside out and I'm gonna press again and people ask me all the time why do you press again from the inside and do you have to use a Teflon sheet and how long you do not need to use a Teflon sheet because the shirt itself is protecting the um, vinyl okay let's see okay so now we have that center line you can barely see lined up with the other one all right and then you're gonna peel it off now the other reason that you want to use the pressing pillow is if you look closely you can see that the like the fibers or the of the shirt I guess it's the fibers are coming through that HTV okay that's what you want to get a good press um, and so there we have it my neighbor right next door she's in the, she had her baby this morning like two hours ago so I'm making this for her. hopefully I don't think she's watching she's probably too busy this is her third child yeah last night I saw her she's like oh yeah I'm having contractions I'm like, are you going to go to the hospital? She's like, yeah, when my husband gets home. I was like, oh my God. So she had the baby this morning. Okay, so then you're going to put, I put the pressing pillow back down. Press again from the inside, another 20 seconds, and you're all done. So that's all there is to that. Now, if you had, if you were going to put another color on here, you were going to layer the HTV, um, you would want to press the first side for about 5 to 10 seconds just to tack it. Pull that transfer sheet off and then add the second one and then do the full amount of heat so that the first layer doesn't get double the heat. It gets as close to the max as possible. Okay? All right, so there you go. That's all there is to it. Cute little design actually, right? I'm going to make another one and put it down the side. Okay, so I know there's a couple questions. The purpose of the pillow and where to get the pillow. The, per the pillows you can get all different places. These are from Pro World. Um, they come in sets. I've got this one. Look, I hang them on the side with a little clip. This one is good for like if pant legs, arm sleeves. Um, this one is good for like older toddlers and child shirts. I don't know how big this is. Eight inches. Um, this large one, men's shirts, are great so that the side sleeves can hang off. Now, what is the purpose of this? The purpose of it is 
first of all, to get even pressure. It absorbs some of the heat, number one, this is Teflon, those are made of Teflon, and secondly, it, uh, so it distributes the heat, it allows you to get a firmer press, more pressure, because obviously the heat press is now, it's pressing down, but it has to go all the way through that pressing pillow as well. So what happens is you are able to press right through essentially things like snaps and things like that. And the third benefit is it, gi it gives you the lift that you need, okay? So it allows your shirt, the area of your shirt where you're gonna press, it allows it to be bumped up while the rest of this is hanging off. If I only pressed my shirt like this, you can see that this part of the shirt or a shoulder seam or a top um, neckline would be the highest part and that would prevent the top plate from coming all the way down. So by using the pressing pillows, you're bumping up the area where the decal is going to go, allowing you to get a more, um, more pressure on your design. And like I said, then it pulls that design, this is not focusing, um, but it, you get, end up with like the grain of the shirt, fibers of the shirt through there and you get a really nice solid press, okay? All right guys, so I'm gonna send you some links. I'm gonna add some links. You're gonna find links for how to, just super basic heat press, okay? I mean, not super basic heat press. Super basic HTV. I just um, updated the heat transfer vinyl 101 tutorial to include um, Silhouette Studio V4, because I know there's a lot of new users, so we'll go through that. Not to mention that I did that one like two months into the blog and it was somewhat embarrassing because <laughs> I was still learning as well. In fact, I still am, but I got heat, heat transfer down. So, I, so I'll share that. I'll share there's a tutorial on placement, tips for placement, like if you do a shoulder or a um, pocket area one, a full center, back, it gives recommendations on where to use them, where, where to place them, how to measure to find it, the little tip on folding to find that center line, and I don't know, I'll answer the rest of your questions, whatever you may have. Somebody probably asked me where I got this Coral HTV, I'll add the link to that, pillows, everything, okay? All right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous Wednesday, and I'll see you soon.